Hey guys, Jack Bennett here. Thanks for tuning into the lesson. Today I want to show you something that you can apply to the drums called the expansion concept, which is basically where you learn to reorchestrate either beats or fills around different parts of the kit to get different sounding fills. And what's really unique about this and why uh, a lot of people find it really easy to grasp this is that unlike um, you know when you're learning from an exercise book or you're learning from a DVD or whatever and you have multiple exercises, a lot of people find it really overwhelming having to learn lots of new things all the time. Even with say um, you know in rud rudiments around the kit 2.0 where I introduced the permutation concept, uh, as as fantastic as that is, it can still be kind of difficult you know, when you're having to reorder sticking patterns and things like that as well. When you're using the expansion concept, you're essentially just taking the sticking pattern that you've learnt, as simple as it might be or as difficult as it might be, and just putting it around the kit in different configurations and that's it, okay? And you end up with all these different sounding fills and you, ha you, you haven't had to learn anything new. Um, so that's been some of the feedback that we've got is, you know, uh, you know the, the products are great, but sometimes there's so many variations, it's kind of hard to, to constantly be learning all this new stuff. I've had a lot of success with my private students recently just learning um, the expansion concept, even on some really basic things, just learning how to reorchestrate it and remove it around the kit. And you'd be surprised at some of the sounds and some of the phrases. Everything kind of has its particular flavor when you put it around the hi-hat. For instance, instead of putting it around the toms, it sounds kind of, you know, different. Um, so what I'm going to do to demonstrate this, as I said, you can do it with both uh, beats and fills, but I'm gonna, uh, just going to do it with a fill to start with, just with the Gospel 9. You've probably already seen the Gospel 9 you know, on YouTube. We did a lesson on it a little while ago, but I'm going to explain it now with this expansion concept. So the Gospel 9, which is really popular at the moment, is a pattern of nine notes that just cycles over and over, and it's right, left, right, bass drum, and then right, left, right, bass drum, bass drum. So two bass drums every second time through. All the notes are played at the same speed, so the same note value or time value, and we just get this. And that's all it is, right? Okay, so typically that's played as like 16th triplets, so you get like... So... And okay, so once again, nice and slow, it's right, left, right, bass drum, right, left, right, two bass drums. Okay, just build up the speed of that, keep it nice and even, and then get. Now, Instead of teaching you something new, let's just reorchestrate this using the expansion concept or expansion method. First of all, I'm going to put the second, so the right, left, right, and then bass drum, bass drum. I'm going to put that sequence on the hi-hat, keep the first bit on the snare, and we then get... And do that twice. And we'll end with a flam, okay? You could continue it over the bar line, you could phrase over the bar line, but it's kind of nice if you can do these fills and just learn out to start with, uh, just learn, kind of flesh it out into sort of one bar phrases. So we'll get... All right? Okay, so that's a reorchestration of a basic pattern that we were playing on snare and bass drum. Next, instead of going to the hi-hat, let's just check out going to the first tom. We're not even going to use all the toms in this lesson. Let's just go to the first tom only with that second right, left, right. So that'd be right, left, right, bass, right, left, right, bass, bass. Okay? Okay, same feel if you like, we'll do two cycles of it and then play a groove. So.
So that's just an example using one fill. We could put it all around the kit. We're going to do many lessons showing you this over the next few weeks. And also we're going to show you, or I'm going to show you, how to do it within beats as well. It's really interesting when you start moving, you know, like ghost notes within beats and you start putting them on the toms and start reorchestrating the ride cymbal pattern onto the bell, of the, the hi-hat, and different things like that. Okay, so that's just using the expansion method or the expansion concept. Hope you've learned something. Enjoy. Oh, <laughs> my